It's time for the X and Y show with your host, Mr. Roosevelt. He talks about man topics, lady topics, and relationships. He talks about love, sex, and infidelities. He even gives good tips. There is no other show that compares to the X and Y show. Oh yeah. Sit back, take your clothes off, and relax. It's time for the X and Y show, where real relationship issues are talked about and addressed. The only place on the planet that tackles the topics that everyone wants to talk about, but no one is brave enough to address. Nothing escapes X and Y, baby. Now, here's your host, Roosevelt Colbert. And greetings, 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 and greetings. Welcome to another segment of the X and Y show. I'm your host, Roosevelt and I'm so glad to be here tonight. I'm so happy, you know, very good to be here. I feel good. I'm in no pain. Uh, I messed up my shoulder about a couple of weeks ago. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I was in the shower and I, I was bending over to pick up a um, shampoo and shit, and, and my, my shoulder cracked. <laughs> and it was a uh, this shoulder always bothered me. Old football injury, and you know, back in the day, baseball, I played catcher, so. People trying to run me over and shit, you know, but they, they didn't do it, but it was trying. Anyway, you know, getting a little older now, so that shit catching up with me. And, but and I just, and my shoulder cracked, and I say, damn, that shit kind of hurt. <laughs> so I went to the urgent care. That silly ass doctor said, oh, you just got a sprain. I was like, okay. He gave me some uh, ibuprofen 400, which ain't shit, uh, and said, you know, you'll be all right. And, Lo and behold, two weeks later, this shit still hurting. I said, something, something ain't right. So I went to a specialist this time, you know, because I don't like pain. But, um, you know, he told me, yo, uh, yeah, you have a bursitis in your rotated cup. He said, yeah, it wasn't going to get well. <laughs> so he gave me a shot, and uh, that helped a lot. I feel a lot better. And... Um, he gave me some uh, some naproxen, uh, and for those who you know that is that's some good shit. And it, you know my shoulder feeling much better. He gave me some muscle relaxers, and I'm doing good now. I'm doing good now. I mean, but that shit, you know, urgent care is good, but you know for simple shit, you know you got the flu or you know, ingrown toenail or some shit like that. But if you got some serious shit, <laughs> go to a specialist. You know, because I went through a lot of pain that I didn't have to go through. But um, I'm feeling good now. I'm feeling good. Matter of fact, in about 20 minutes, I got to take another pill. <laughs> so um, I want to get into the night show because this is really something that I wanted to talk about, uh, you know, but I just never had the opportunity. I, I just never did. So, which I don't know why it took me so long to talk about this, but. I'm about to fix that right now. Uh, also, a funny thing happened to me this week. I met a nice young lady. Um, you know, we was talking and stuff. She came to my work and, you know, she was cool. And I found out she had three kids. You know, you know, you, for those of you who know uh, me and podcasts and stuff, episode one. I'm not a fan of going into that kind of situation, but I said, okay, you know, she's a nice chick. She appears to be very nice. I'm going to give it a shot, right? So the first thing she tells me, look, listen to this shit. She tells me, um, you know, uh, you know, if we start going out and stuff and, and becoming a relationship, you know, I'm just letting you know that you know i'm i'm living a abstinent life now and you know until i get married that's just the way it's gonna be and i'm like what the fuck you got three damn kids i couldn't believe she she tried me i couldn't 
can she tried me. I can believe she even said that shit to me. Standing here with three kids, one of them five, one of them four, about the four and a half, and one of them two from two different dicks. You know, so they, they ain't like they big teenagers and shit. They they just got out of the you know, Now she want to live a pure. You know, then she asked me, you know, she came to work the other day. Like, well, how come you never call? <laughs> Fuck you think I don't call? <laughs> you know, I'm like, you know, you don't fuck everybody in the city. They didn't want to go out with me, but now you want to be a nun? No. I, you know, that's cool. I understand, you know, she, uh, you know, hiding her uh, uh, living or whatever the fuck it is. I don't know. But that don't mean I have to agree with it. It's not something that I want to partake in. So, you know, I feel that I'm not going to front. You know, I'm not going to play with her. You know, but I'm not the one. So, you know, I didn't call. I don't waste time like that. You know, you know, I, you know, what I'm supposed to do. You know, you know, she gave the pussy up to everybody else. Want to get the meat. <laughs> anyway. So, a lot going on this week. A lot going on this week. Um, everybody talking about Joe Biden and shit. <laughs> You know, I don't usually talk about politics on this show because I want to get away from that shit. This is away from from that kind of stuff. You hear it all day. <laughs> I ain't going to talk about it for, you know, 30 plus minutes. But um, I just thought it interesting that Joe Biden is going through a lot this week because he um, apparently a young lady uh, said that he touched her hair and made her feel uncomfortable. And he she thinks that he tried to smell her hair as well. <sighs> you know, and, and you know, I don't know. Who knows? He might have done it. He might have did I don't know. But, you know, Joe Biden ought to be, he, he ought to know better. You know, all men ought to know better by now. You can't touch women no more. You can't compliment women <laughs> no more. I know some of you are saying, oh, well, Roosevelt, that's not true. That's not true. I'd love to hear it coming. Oh, okay, that's fine. That's fine for you. But I've seen it with my own eyes that women, some women don't like when you compliment them. They don't like that shit. You know, you don't know what a woman, you know, a lot of women walking around sexual frustrated in any goddamn way. So they're walking around mad at the world. And you say some shit to them and they don't like it or they don't like you or whatever. They don't find you attractive. So they get angry. So you don't know what reaction you're going to get just from a simple compliment. So just don't say shit. That's the way you stay safe. You just can't do it anymore, fellas. Listen to me. Stay out of trouble. Can't touch these women no more. You can't compliment them anymore. You can't tell them how well they look, how well they smell no more. You can't. This shit ain't worth it. A lot of people going crazy over um, Amari. Uh, what that motherfucker? He got a hard, crazy as the Hardwick, the dude that play on Power. He's the leading star, you know. And everybody going crazy that he kissed Beyonce. Um, and I, in my opinion, I don't think that Am Amari. Uh, meant anything by that kiss because if you seen his wife <laughs> his wife finer than a motherfucker huh his wife finer than a motherfucker i don't care what nobody say two thumbs up goddamn it and a big toe <laughs> his wife finer than anyway i don't think he meant nothing by kissing beyonce the only thing that i find wrong with that kiss is that it's something in my opinion now that I wouldn't have done? Um, you know, from I looked at the film, look, he he kissed her in the mouth. He didn't kiss her directly in the mouth, but it's like the side of the mouth. It was enough in the mouth, and I think that's inappropriate. Um, I don't think you should kiss anybody in the mouth unless you fucking them. If you fucking them, then it's all right to kiss them in the mouth. 
If you ain't fucking them, don't be kissing nobody in the mouth, especially a married woman. That's the, that's what I found, number one, that was wrong with, the only thing I found wrong with it. Not that he kissed her. Um, you know, I assumed that he know Beyonce personally, and that's why he felt comfortable enough to kiss her in the mouth like that. But I, I found that it was inappropriate to kiss her in the mouth just because, you know, he's married, she's married. Just don't do it. That, that's inappropriate. That's number one. Number two, he don't know when those lips last kiss Jay-Z's ugly ass. <laughs> that alone, that alone will stop me from kissing Beyonce in the mouth. Because Jay-Z's his ass is ugly. I don't want my lips nowhere where he has been. But um, that's the only thing I find about, wrong about that kiss. I don't think he meant anything about it. Uh, you know, his wife is fine as fuck. So I don't think he meant anything about it. But, you know, that's the way society is. They're going to blow shit out of proportion. Again, what I say, when are men going to learn? Don't touch women in any kind of way. That means hugs, none of that shit. Don't compliment them. Don't say they look good. Don't say they smell good. Don't say none of that shit. Don't say they damn fucking hair smell good either. Yeah. Don't do that shit. Don't do it. Meet them, greet them, shake their hand, and get the fuck on. That's all you do. That's all you do. Shake their hand and keep it moving. It's not safe to do anything else anymore. You know, it's not safe. It's just, it's, <laughs> I mean, the, the shit that could happen from an innocent act as a compliment can end somebody's fucking career. Shit ain't worth it. Don't say shit. Just shake your hand and keep your ass moving. Men, we gonna learn. And the women out there say, no, that's not true. That's the, you shouldn't do that. Well, fuck that. You know, you can't have your cake and eat it too. And I don't know how you're gonna react to a compliment. I don't know. You might be mad on that day. You might be on some mad, angry shit. You might, I don't know. I don't know how you're gonna decide. I ain't gonna say shit to you. I'm gonna shake your hand, move on. Good morning. I'm gonna be cordial. Yeah. Good afternoon. Get my coffee and get the fuck out of there. <laughs> Shit. You're ruining my career. <laughs> so, with that said, I'm, I'm going to ease on into the next episode. Um, I'm talking about are women and men treated differently when it comes to sexual misconduct? Are women and men treated differently? when it comes to sexual misconduct? And if I had to answer this question, I would say absolutely yes. It's not a secret. It's been going on for years now. Um, women who commit sexual misconduct crimes are basically slapped in the hand, you know, slapped on the wrist. You know, they're too pretty to go to jail. She's not going to jail. We're going to just slap you on the wrist right now. You better not do that again, young lady. <laughs> That's what it's all about now. You know, while men, on the other hand, is getting fucking crucified, damn you. You know, women, they letting off or, you know, some women have been convicted, but not on the level that men has. And men is like, oh, that monster. Oh, my goodness. Kill him. You know, castrate him. But women, oh, oh, she's nice. She made a mistake. You know, we're going we're gonna to look over it. Just give her some community hours and everything will be fine. You know, just bullshit. There was an article um, done by uh, Fox News reporter um, Holly McKay. She done a an article on sexual mixed conduct by teachers. And I just thought of some of the statistics that she wrote in his story is kind of interesting. Um, so I'm going to read some of them to you that kind of caught my eye. A teacher uh, called Sarah Jones, she accepted a plea agreement. Um, Judge Patricia Sume granted prosecutors the recommendation to sentence Jones to five years of diversion, but no jail time. 
and she won't have to register as a sex offender. The diversion requires Jones to report to a probation officer and undergo drug tests. <laughs> That's from a teacher that committed, you know, she was with a minor. That, that was her punishment. <sighs> Bullshit. Um, what is something else I wanted to read? While there are no national statistics specific to teachers available, an investigation by the New Jersey Star-Ledger newspaper, which studied cases between 2003 and 2013, concluded that male teachers received more stringent legal punishments than females. Well, no shit. In 2011, the Denver Post found that females convicted of for sexual abuse in a minor in their care in the state of Colorado are also far less likely to be jailed for their crimes. So, here's another one. Of the 2,128 men convicted of sexual assault on a child in their responsibility from 2006 to 2010, more than half were sent to prison. By comparison, 79 women <laughs> were convicted of a crime during that time but only 38% were in prison. So not even 70, not even all of them went to prison. Whereas 2,128 men, when they was convicted, 79 women were convicted of the crime, but only 38% were in prison. So they don't even go to jail. They don't do shit. No, nothing basically happens to them. And they are committing the same crimes as the males are. Now, for those of you saying, well, why are you saying? Are you saying that the males should get up? No, I'm not saying that dumb shit. I'm saying, no, the, the males should be punished for their crime. But also, the females should be punished as well. You know? I think both should suffer the same fate. You know, you send a man to jail for 20 years or 15 years for molesting a child, send a woman for jail for 15 years. You know, let it be equal. Not, not because she looked pretty or, you know, she's, uh, you know, she's looked so nice in court. So we're going to give her a chance. We're going to give her a second chance. None of that bullshit. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying if it, if both are doing it, let them suffer the same crime. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying let men off like women. No, I'm not saying that bullshit. I'm saying both should be punished in the same manner. But we have two legal systems, and that's not happening. Men getting the book thrown at them. Women are being slapped on the wrist. Uh, I know you heard this week about Cardi B. <laughs> she's an entertainer. Um, uh, she's a uh, hip hip-hop artist, probably the hottest female hip-hop artist currently out now. Some might debate that, but um, everybody's heard of Cardi B. Fuck it. You know, let's just say it. Even if you don't listen to her music, everybody know who Cardi B is or heard her. They, 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 they've been exposed to her. Um, now, she did a what was that Instagram confession or something? Uh, somebody pulled it up or she did it, some shit. I don't know. But it was, I think it was on her page. But basically, she admitted to robbing men or drugging men at first and then robbing them, you know, when they're drugged, robbing the hell out of them and then, you know, leaving and stuff. And, you know, I think that's sexual misconduct, you know. And I'm not hating on Cardi. You know, I follow Cardi on uh, Twitter. You know, uh, I ain't got, you know, I, ain't, I'm not hating on. Her. I'm just using her as an example because, you know, shit, she admitted it. So, <laughs> I'm not hating on her. I'm just saying what she did. It's the truth. She drugged men and robbed them. Now, I didn't hear shit from Me Too, the Me Too movement. I didn't hear one goddamn word from them. You know? I didn't hear one goddamn word from Me Too movement. I didn't hear them saying nothing about, oh, 
That's terrible. Uh, yeah, she, we want her music moved from uh, Spotify. We want her music moved from uh, Pandora. We want all her music moved from Stream. I hear none of that shit from me, the Me Too movement or other feminist organizations, you know. And I've always thought that Me Too wasn't nothing but a bunch of hypocritical motherfuckers. That's right, I said it. I said it. A lot of motherfuckers around here running around, walking on eggshells and shit, scared. Oh, Me Too! Oh, 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 Me Too! Me Too can kiss my ass. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. I think the overall message of the organization is wonderful. I think that the message that they are betraying is wonderful. I think that anyone that takes advantage of women and use their power over women should be brought to justice. I'm not saying that I condone that at all. That's not what I'm saying at all. Just because I said me too can kiss my ass. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. I, I applaud the message, what they're trying to betray. They're saying that all men that use their power wrongly to gain sexual advantages over women should be brought to justice. I agree with that. What I don't agree with is the motherfuckers behind the Me Too movement. It's behind the charade, you know. That's what I'm saying. I think that there are a lot of hypocritical motherfuckers in that organization. Now, that's just like anything else. You know, the Catholic Church, uh, um, any kind of church, the government, you're going to always have people that are not living up to their uh, mission. You can always have hypocrites within the organization. So it, Me Too doesn't, it's not exempt to that. But, you know, we, we're just keeping it, and keeping it on the subject, you know. I think that a lot of the Me Too organization are a bunch of fucking hypocrites. And a lot of these feminist organizations around the planet as well, you know. Time's up and all that shit, you know. Because if they were really true to their word, they would denounce all sexual misconduct. But I didn't hear him saying one goddamn word about what Cardi B did. I didn't see him see him saying anything about demanding that her music be put off of streaming services, you know, demanding that she be brought up on charges. I didn't hear none of that shit from nobody. No feminist organizations, no Me Too, no Time's Up, none of that shit. So how am I supposed to look at them? You know, they're supposed to be so goddamn righteous. Why are they not saying anything about that? That's all I'm saying. And I invite any one of, of those organizations, Me Too or Time's Up or all that shit, the, they want to come on this show and talk to me and give their side more than free. I welcome it. But I'm damn sure not going to hold my goddamn breath waiting on that. Could you imagine if Sylvester Stallone would have said, you know, that back in the day before he made Rocky that he used to drug women, young actresses, you know, inspiring actresses and, you know, rape them. And, or, or, uh, no, I ain't going to even go that far. Drug them, actresses, and rob them, you know. His career be over. Even though, you know, they, they can't hurt Sylvester Stallone, but his career will be over. You know? Could you imagine that shit? Could you imagine if Jimmy Kimmel would say, you know, back in the day before he got his show, yeah, before he got married, he used to do drugs with women and then, uh, you know, uh, rob them and, you know, take pictures of them nude. I don't know, some crazy shit. What you think they would do with Jimmy Kimmel? They would demand ABC to drop him. They would demand ABC get rid of him. Me, I'm talking about Me Too and Time's Up and, and all those other women that are angry. <laughs> Shit. They would be demanding Jimmy Kimmel's resignation from ABC. Demanding it. Could you imagine if LeBron James said, you know, back in the day, you know, before I got married, you know, when I was a rookie in Cleveland Cavaliers, my, my second year, you know, yeah, me and this team, we used to, 
drug women and rob them. Or drug women and just take pictures of them naked and shit. Oh, what? It would be demanding that the NBA get rid of LeBron James. He would have to leave the NBA. You know, they would be picking in the goddamn Lakers every day. Get rid of him. He has to go. Time's up. They'd be get rid of, get rid of him. LeBron James. If he had, rid, could you imagine if he had admitted some shit like that? John Bon Jovi, <laughs> the lead singer of Bon Jovi. Could you imagine if he told a story of drugging women back in on, on you know while they were concerting back in the day when you know when they first started and he drugged women backstage and robbed them and shit and took pictures of them naked and kicked them out the door. His career would be over. His career would be over. Me too. Time's up. The feminist organizations, all them angry-ass angry women, they would picket him to death. They would demand justice. But I didn't hear them saying one goddamn word when Cardi B came out and said that shit. I didn't hear him saying nothing. I didn't hear him saying one goddamn word. So it, 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 when, you know, it, it is two legal systems in this country, you know, or maybe society as a whole, you know. It seems that when it comes to sexual misconduct, only men are really scrutinized to the max, you know. A lot of times women are, you know, written passes and shit. Man, we gonna give her a second chance. One lady, one lady told me last week, well, you, why are you saying all that about Cardi B? I mean, that was in the past. Well, shit. What Bill Cosby did was in the past. You really went there? A lot of shit that he was he done allegedly uh, before I was born. So don't give me that shit. It comes something better than that. And I'm not saying that what Bill Cosby did was right. I'm not. I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is he got punished. Yeah, all right. But where's the punishment for the females that do misconduct, sexual misconduct deeds and shit? That's all I'm saying. This shit should be fair. But it seems that there are two legal systems. You know, you're a man, you molest a, a minor, you know, throw the book at him. Give him 20 years. You got to register in a, in a, as a sex offender. Can't be within a, a thousand feet of, of children and shit. All kind of, your life is over. But a woman, no. Well, she's pretty. You know, she made a mistake. Let's give her a second chance. You know, put her on probation. You know, don't you do that again. <laughs> you know, male entertainers say they drug women and they career, they, their careers are over. You let a man come out and say that shit that he used to drug women back in the day and rob them and, you know, do all kind of shit when they was drugged and sleep. You let a man come out and say that shit and see what happened. But a woman says it. Cardi B, she said it back in the day. She said, she said it plain. Look it up. It's on IG. It's on Twitter, Google. It's, all, it's everywhere now. Shit, if you tweet her, she'll say, yeah, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's everywhere now. A woman admit that she drugged men back in the day and robbed them. Shit happened. There's no uproar. You know, there's no demand for her music to be taken off streaming services. You know, there's no outcry for justice. Me too, and the times up, and the, you know, the angry women in the crowd they ain't saying one goddamn word, nothing. So that proves that there are two legal systems when it comes to sexual misconduct: one for men, and one for women. One for men, and one for women. You don't have to listen to me. Look at the statistics. I read you a few of them. I mean, I could read. A lot more for that article, <laughs> but we'll be here all goddamn night. 
But, you know, I can read a lot more from that article by um, Holly McKay. I just rose a few inserts. We all got them not if I read all that shit. You know, you don't have to believe me, but believe the statistics. What really is going on? Men get the book thrown at them. They get crucified, get stoned to death. <laughs> you know, women doing the same crime, get a slap on the hand. Now, granted, some of them go to jail. You know, it's always exceptions to the rule. But not all of them, not even half. I don't get slapped on the hand and don't you do that again. We're watching you. <laughs> you be good now. <laughs> you know, still waiting on me too and time's up and all that shit. I, I'm, I'm still waiting on them to say, say something about what Cardi B did. I'm still waiting for outcry for justice. You know, I won't hold my, my goddamn breath on that one. It's two systems. Two legal systems when it comes to sexual misconduct. One for men and one for women. So, the question, are women and men treated differently when it comes to sexual misconduct? You damn skippy. That's just how society is. You know? Kill the man, throw him under the goddamn jailhouse. But the woman, uh, she's too pretty to go to jail. Can't send her to jail. Give her a year of probation. <laughs> anyway. Hope you enjoyed tonight's show of the XY Show. Be sure to check me out on any avenue that you listen in to these days. Um, I'm on Stitcher. I'm on iTunes, I'm on TuneIn, I'm on the CastBox, I'm on Spotify, I'm on iHeartRadio, and I'm on Blueberry, and my main platform is Spreaker, so you check it out, subscribe, listen to it, let me know what you're liking, uh, comment, uh, make sure you subscribe though, that's, that's better. <laughs> Um, so whatever you listen to, check it out, also check out my social media, I'm on Tumblr, Twitter, IG, Instagram, and uh, Facebook as well. You can find all of that on my website, which is www.thexyshow.com, www.thexyshow.com. You can find everything there. You can also find the XY store where you can buy cool shirts, cups, coffee mugs, uh, Android covers, and uh, iPhone covers, etc. Um, I'm gonna. Now that I have more time, I'm really gonna be putting some new shit in there. I, I promise. So check it out. Buy your new shirt and uh, be sure to take a picture. And I would definitely put it on the X and Y IG page. And also, there's a contact page as well, so you can say hello. You can say uh, goodbye. You can say any constructive criticisms, or anything you'd like to say to me, recommendations on future episodes, um, anything. Just just talk to me. And I would definitely uh, read it and uh, be influenced by your wise words. So without further ado, that concludes another segment of the XY Show. And remember, you cannot have love without X and Y. Later. You've been listening to The X and Y Show with your host, Roosevelt Colbert, the place where real relationship issues are talked about and addressed. Join us next time. You can now put your clothes back on or not. Uh.